French cooking can seem very intimidating, but today I'm gonna show you a super easy way to make Palms Anna a classic French dish. So let's get started. All right, I've got my beautiful potatoes here, so we're gonna slice them very thin and very carefully on our mandolin here. And we're gonna keep them separated by color so that we can get a beautiful rainbow in our Palmzana. So we'll just lay out our potatoes, as I said, just by color. We wanna just give them a little blot, move a little bit of the excess liquid. So there are purple potatoes. Cover them with another paper towel to blot them a bit. And we'll move to our yellow potatoes. When this dish is all done, all these slices of potato are gonna be creamy on the inside, but crispy and golden on the outside, super buttery and delicious. Yellow. And again, blot them. Last but not least, we got our little red guys. All right. So that's our mandolin done. Let's get this sharp blade out of the way. Add our potatoes to our little blotting station over here. So all of our potatoes are sliced and now we're gonna start building. So carefully we're gonna pour a little bit of clarified butter. So this is butter with no fat solids in it. You can buy it in a supermarket. It's also called ghee. We're gonna add a little bit to the bottom of the pot. A little cast iron and just make sure it's covering Everywhere, shake that around. And then we're going to start layering our potatoes. We're gonna go in a spiral from the center. Start in the center, alternating colors. Do about every two. And you want them to overlap a little bit more in the center than they will on the outside. They will start to shrink down in the center as they cook. And if you want more color, you can use sweet potatoes for this. You can use really any variety of potato. All right, so we've got one circle around. We're now gonna go back the other way for our second layer, starting in the center again. And again, remembering to overlap a little bit more in the center than you are on the outside. Okay, so we've got two beautiful layers of our potatoes. And then every two layers, we're gonna season and butter them again. So let's start with our butter. Give them just a little brush, and then we're gonna give them a little bit of salt and pepper. Remember you're doing this every two layers, so not too much salt and pepper. All right. And then we'll do another two layers, another butter, salt, and pepper, another two layers, another butter, salt, and pepper, until you're about halfway, two thirds of the way up the pan. We're gonna now press the potatoes. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna butter the bottom of another cast iron pan and use that to press it down. Just don't want anything to stick. And we'll give it a good press. So they're just gonna press down together and all the starch is gonna hold them and then they'll be really creamy on the inside. All right, so that's pressed down and now we need to cover it. We're going to just butter one side of some foil. And this is gonna go just flat inside the pan like that. And then just to have a lid, we're gonna cover it one more time. And this is ready to go in the oven. My beautiful Pums Anna have just come out of the oven after baking uncovered for a little bit to finish and they're ready to go. Um, I'm gonna top with a little creme fraiche and chives, but you could finish it with anything you like. You could eat it straight like this. You could have hollandaise, some gravy, a fried egg. This is open to interpretation, but it's real delicious. So let's just finish it off real quick. And that is the Rainbow Pums Anna. It is so delicious smelling. You're definitely gonna wanna try to make this right now.